today is uh, another female interview with an amazing female singer. She is uh, Lara Goldemont from Burning Witches. Hi, Hello. Lara. First of all, Hi. how are you? Good. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm good. I mean, yeah, it's locked down again, so it's a little bit boring again, but yeah. besides of that, uh, oh, and besides the fact that I need to do administration, like I, I didn't do oh. it for a long time, <laughs> except for that fact, it's perfect. <laughs> uh, it's so. good to know, it's good to know. So I want to go straight with the, the question that probably everyone wants to know right now. and. Especially for the you know the newbie fans, the people that are starting to get in touch with the band scene, because now um, nowadays burning witching and like is uh, almost everywhere in festivals, and maybe people are still uh, are wondering who are burning witches. So if you make just a short introduction of the band at the current lineup, because it's changing in twenty twenty four. Yeah, yeah we're okay yeah we're just you know we're all girls that just love classic heavy metal so uh yeah that, that's what we're doing basically yeah um, yeah i don't I, that's that's just the really short summary yeah. you know <laughs> yeah so we, sure. we thought burning witches is a cool name for it so that's why also we have the yeah we, we we do like that theme also you know so we have a lot of witch theme stuff which uh yeah, sure. yeah we just love to, to get into but uh yeah especially i think if you like classic heavy metal, then you probably like our music. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of like 80s oriented. It's hard yeah. to find find a, a, a band, especially a female band, after, for example, a band that you do like Vixen, that made this heavy metal uh, mm -hmm. genre. Because I, m most of the female band or most of the singer, they sing like in growling nowadays. And there are some few uh, good singers that use their skills like in, clean, in cleaning voice. Or just alternating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so That's we, funny. It's we funny need that more. Say that. Yeah. We I, need I, like, more Laura. We was... need more Laura. <laughs> that's that's cool that you say that. Thanks. Yeah, and it, I mean when I started or when I learned singing, when I was seriously learning it, I was actually yeah. like, you kind of want to sing growls because it's kind of a special thing. But it's funny yeah. that you now say. It's almost the opposite because everyone's doing yes, it. Yes, because yeah. at the, be the beginning were just you know a few few sing female singers doing these yeah. uh, um, I'm gonna say these growling screaming uh, with that metal band, uh, yeah. but then um, I think it's uh, like an evolving of the metal. But now it's uh, it's rare finding a yeah. woman or um, that 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 singing with cleaning voice. But yeah, about, and guys yeah. too, you know, guys, guys are yeah, also of most of the time growling. Yeah. <laughs> In the so local when, scene, I can totally remember that. <laughs> so now when you hear something cleaning, you say, wow, that's weird, but I like it. But, but because, of yeah. course, as you know, probably since you, you do um, heavy metal mostly, uh, this is the roots of music. So people mm -hmm. and especially the teenager, especially the female teenager, because I think that a female band is like like um, uh, for girls that are approaching to music. It's like a mirror. I want to be like Laura. I want to be like Larissa. I want to be like like um, uh, for example, Nervosa singer. Um, so yeah, it's like yeah. it's I wanna like fly. a mirror. I want to fly on brooms and yes. sing heavy metal, make heavy metal. Yeah. <laughs> and the best thing is that they can watch yeah. now and on at the past, and then and mm. not just you know just growling. Uh, because I think it's uh, for me, heavy metal is like uh, more classical. You can add mm. another, a lot of things on, like, also in composition and in, and also mm -hmm. in vocals. And you were saying about the current lineup. Sorry, um? you were saying about the current uh, lineup of the band. Oh yeah, I I, I got I like I think I um, misheard the, the the part where. What, what do you want to tell me about it? I kind of uh, was lost. Yes, <laughs> no, no, the, the, just the formation of today, of the Burning Witches. Yeah, okay, so Romana is the is, yeah the, the founder of the band, mm -hmm. and she started it up very soon with Jay and Larissa, so, or, but, sorry, with Jay and Lala. Yeah, yeah it's both L, right? So now we have actually yeah. between and L in it. Uh, because, yeah, Laura, uh, Larissa, Lala, so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, but yeah, so she started with uh, with Jay, and very soon after Lala, or maybe maybe the other way around. So I wasn't there yet. <laughs> uh, I entered last year, 
Uh, we already had a few albums, but uh, yeah, the previous singer just wanted to do other stuff. So now we kind of settled down again, you know. Now we're all with yeah, people yeah, that yeah. I believe will, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, just just course. work on this for for a longer period of time. Because basically, yeah, of course they live in Switzerland and I don't, but <laughs> yeah. we're all friends, you know. So that that yeah, makes it easier. But I'm kind of the latest addition in that way because of yeah, I'm from the Netherlands, of course, you know. But everyone knows each other. Uh, for a pretty long time now. I mean, yeah. uh, Larissa even, like she's now, you know, the newest in the band. Mm -hmm. uh, but they knew each other for, I don't know, yeah, years since she was, know. since they went to primary school or something, you know. Yeah. Since her. Yeah. <laughs> so that's but, pretty cool, I think. But yeah. the, the important is that that like you you feel like you're like a member of the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. because this is uh, most important. Before speaking a, a, a little more about you, of course, Laura, I want to ask you, of course, you, you joined the band uh, with the last album. So I, I won't ask you too many things about the other two albums. I want just to ask you, which is uh, your, what mm -hmm. do you think about the first two album of uh, Burning Witches? Because, of course, you sing uh, those songs in the lives. Yeah, yeah, I like them. Uh, my favorite is Black Widow. Uh, because yeah. it's so, you know, energetic, it really gets your energy up and I really love that. And it's fun to sing. It's, I, I really like to sing that song also. That's I don't amazing. know, it's just... Yeah, it's amazing. I, I like that style. So that's, I think that's my favorite from those albums. Yeah. Uh, and I also really, uh, yeah, I really love, of course, the old school sound I have. Some songs a little bit more than others. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, for example, what, what I also love is, uh, yeah, the Burning Witches. Burning Witches song, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, uh, that yeah, that, like they yeah. also. What's fun for me in in those two albums is that mm -hmm. they're very versatile. So I can sing super clean, yeah. but I can and, and they're also ballads, you know, some of them. But and I can also do growls, more, so I can do uh, everything. So really nice. Yeah, yeah, you can just do yeah. difference, and it's important because this shows your ability as vocal. As a, yeah, it's, your, it's your, like, your, it's super yeah. fun. It's like, uh, you know, vocalist playgrounds for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also yeah. speaking about the last one album, uh, Dance with the Devil, it's, uh, we saw, um, I read, if I'm not wrong, that uh, there is the participation of a huge, my, a huge, uh, like, Ross the Boss and Michael the Pond. Yeah, yeah, that's... And, uh, yeah, and you covered the, because... the song, if I'm not wrong, uh, Battling of Manowar. Yeah. Uh, why this choice? Yes. I mean, something that the band choose. Uh, there is a special love for Man of War. Yeah, no, there is. Yeah, uh, Romana is uh, yeah a big fan of the music. Yeah. Uh, it's it's one of the bigger biggest inspirations, and uh, yeah. I think also you know in our style we, we like that you know the thing that you have going on with the bigger yeah. than life image, you know. Uh, so you're kind of. You know this vibe that that they are like uh, Marvel characters. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know Marvel, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, like we, we like that also. So we were inspired by that also, and that's why we thought you know we need to have uh, yeah. we need to have a Man of War cover. <laughs> I know he's ever was yeah. working with Ross. I interviewed him uh, in the past, and he's a really uh, like huge culture a mu musical culture man and a huge musician but all the, mm -hmm. like you say all print of musician and like, all what musician all, all print like uh, i all the school we can say musician like oh, uh, yeah. art mm -hmm. rock uh, like these things mm -hmm. and i was yeah. and i was at working with him because he's a huge name uh, yeah uh, to be honest I, yeah, like, yeah, kind of almost have the wrong person in the band because I, I live so far away. <laughs> I don't, I didn't really see that happening, uh, uh -huh. but I think he recorded at home also. So it's more like yeah. we just asked him mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, he was really positive about it. So we were happy yeah. he wanted to do that. Yes. And, and uh, yeah. it's, I, I know that Romana already, you know, knows them longer and they mm -hmm. like what we're doing. So. Uh, yeah, we were supposed to go on tour with them together, but yeah, during uh, because of Corona, it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, but, but, yeah, yeah, yes. that's it. Basically, they and yeah, they appreciate each other's work. So uh, yeah. And what about <laughs> I mean, I this album? Your first album with them? I was working. I mean, starting this journey with the uh, uh, yeah. witches and how you joined them? How you met them? I was. I mean, you going yeah. in, 
the story. I want to know the story how it's Laura kind of weird, got. Right? Yeah. It's kind of weird because I'm all the way in the Netherlands. Uh, I realized that, but <laughs> it was kind of logical for them at that point because uh, yeah, they also had Sonia coming from the Netherlands, mm -hmm. and she knew me, so she said, "Hey, actually, she is already, you know, loving this 80s heavy metal style." And um, yeah, I, I, you know, uh, got to their attention. They asked me to to do something, to send something in. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, that's how it happened, yeah. And uh, phew, yeah, that was uh, intense. It, it happened That's all so nice. fast. <laughs> and and then you you were in the, the you you you, you recorded like what two video three video with the with the burning witches. I shoot a video. Uh, how, how many video you recorded with the with the band? Sorry, how many did you record with the band? Video vi video clips. Oh, video clips. Oh, yeah. um, good question. <laughs> I have to count. Yeah, there, I mean, they're not that many, but I have to. <laughs> yeah, the, and they oh, are okay. good. Thank you. <laughs> so we did a special thing. Uh, I think this is the latest. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the Shark Color 5 is the latest. Mm -hmm. So the, that's the, the latest uh, single. And before that, we did a special thing, uh, you know, acoustic songs that we already had. Uh, basically, uh, not all of them were acoustic. We also did We Eat Your Children. Yeah. Uh, which is just a uh, you know pretty heavy metal a pretty heavy heavy metal song so we put uh, we just made acoustic versions of of two old songs and we uh, we got the ballads from that to the devil so that's that's a special thing it's more like a stream than maybe an official clip but it's still kind of a clip <laughs> yeah that's, that's amazing and also you I've, i mean you have been all already in touring with them in a, and being in festival with the... Uh, yeah, Witches. it was a very busy schedule because we're doing, you know, uh, yeah, we, we made a new um, single to introduce me, to oh. have something for the fans, so they wouldn't only, you know, look at all the live videos, but actually have yeah. a song, a real yeah, song with my, my voice on it. <laughs> So that's what we did. So that's the first one, but they made like a, you know, more like a visualizer. So mm -hmm. we didn't really have to shoot a video clip, but that's one of the clips. And uh, and after that, it was just lots of uh, festivals and, uh, you know, and then yeah. writing, and writing also, the next. Yeah, and also uh, you, you were at Summer Breezes, if I'm not wrong, in, 20, um, in 2019, if I'm not wrong. 2019, I wrote a song with, what? You, you were in Summer Breeze? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that you were in some. Yeah, I read the lineup and I was supposed to be there, but I wouldn't. I mean, there is some uh, memories of that festival. Um, not that of summer, but I mean, old festival and gigs you you did with Burning Witches that you remain, you, you remind better. Uh, they say in your heart some funny moment. You know, something that you want to share with with your fans. A funny moment of uh, specifically that festival or any festival? No, no, any festival, any even as small geeks, whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's oh man, what was the best? Uh, let me think. That's <laughs> difficult to choose. It was just all like you know, stepping into a dream kind of you know, because it was always yeah. in me, my dream to yeah, tour and have uh, yeah, have really you know, cool gigs basically. Uh, yes. Yeah, so th th it was just really my dreams coming through, and, and like in within my first five gigs, I went to Sweden, which I never was, have been oh, before, gosh. you know. So that's that's already pretty special, and it was so much fun that actually there were some Dutch people there that kind of knew me from the scene, wow. and that was really funny <laughs> because I, I at some point they they were happy for me, you know, they knew that I was new, <laughs> and I think that was most of, one of the most funny things that happened is actually they were like. Laura and I was like, hey, you know, you, <laughs> you know, it's kind of yeah. It was just cute, you know. I think this 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 cute moment is actually one of the, amazing. for me, one of the most the things that I will remember. You know what I mean? But yes, I mean, yes. Like in these first five gigs, we also went to Russia, and wow, we really yeah, far. And, and another war. Yes. Huh? Another war completely. Yeah, totally. That, that was totally special and also funny, kind of like. The first long uh, flight, of course, something went wrong with flights. <laughs> oh my god! So, I up, I up, nothing terrible. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Ter yeah, no, nothing really terrible. But can you imagine? Like it's the first five gigs. It's already pretty heavy because you. <laughs> yeah. I had to learn everything pretty quickly, and everything yeah. is a bit overwhelming. 
and then something goes wrong with flights and then you have to in the middle of the night travel to some place close to the airport to actually try and get some sleep <laughs> oh my god and then be yeah, ready because, for the gigs yeah yeah and because we needed a, a second uh flight you know so in total the whole trip know. took like 16 hours oh my god so can you imagine <laughs> and then was the rushing yeah gig. and then like i think we, we could sleep one night probably but then we had to uh get back again for wakan you know so can you imagine it's like crazy <laughs> so imagine, uh, but i think that and, and wakan uh, is of course a dream come true and uh and it, it was yeah. nice you know it was nice that at least that was the fifth gig and not the first so i'm happy with that <laughs> i mean you did a little bit of experience before going yes, to work to yeah. <laughs> yeah you feel a little bit less but yes, com- I saw, or, uh, more I saw your with, live with... i saw your your live on youtube uh, and uh, you are like uh, ruling the, the stage. I mean, each girl ru- <laughs> is, a, is a, I think each member of the band is their own personalities. Yeah, but exactly, uh, yeah. there is you, the, for, of course, you know, everyone look first at the singer, is male or woman or female, they just look immediately to the singer. And you oh, just you, you, would, you would be surprised, you know, I'm the singer and I'm looking and looking in the audience and like, oh, they're watching the guitar. <laughs> oh, they're also watching the guitar. Oh, I'm just singing, you know. <laughs> no, no, Actually, really. not not everyone, but okay, half of them, yes. Uh, it, it's and not... there are, yeah. I guess, I guess you're kind of right. <laughs> yeah, but, but I... not everyone. <laughs> there are someone that is okay. looking. Of course, I think that anyone should look at every member playing because yes, every member is uh, <laughs> in, in any bands and not just in, a, in any match but that... yeah but no one no one ever looks at the drummer you know because no, she's really, just she just behind I, the drums sadly <laughs> and your drummer is like for me when i saw her it's like a, a kick-ass woman she seems like a really tough woman when i when yeah, i saw her into, yeah, she yes, has some, yes. uh, spirit yeah. <laughs> yeah and speaking about you laura how I all started your career. You had other other musical project before Burning Witches. Oh yeah. Yeah, how much it depends on how far back you want to go. I can try <laughs> to replicate how I sang when I just started singing, but <laughs> Yeah, just just so we can say a small biography of Laura. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I I started to, I actually I started to, to try to play guitar, you know. Oh, that was the start. Okay. Yeah, but I, that's why I was telling you I don't know how far back you want to go, but and I, I kind of at some point decided uh, I'm uh, I want to sing, you know, and I was just I got way better at singing, way faster than I was at playing guitar. Playing guitar, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's it's just not really. Uh, maybe maybe I I didn't have uh, the right teachers because I was trying yeah. to figure it out myself, and I've never been really an autodidactic person. But for singing lessons, yeah. I started to take singing lessons. So. I guess that really helped me, and uh, yeah, now I'm here. Anyway, what what happened in between? Uh, at some point, I actually w- were trying to take it serious, so I wanted to de- mm-hmm. go to a conservatory, and oh, wow. uh, so I did like a, a pre-course for a year uh, because you know I, I was just not good enough yet, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then a year later, I discovered for the first year that I started the metal factory. No, that's just perfect it was especially for metal and it was in the netherlands so you know it was perfect um, you find your own path yeah. your own way be... yeah exactly yeah it's, yeah it's it's fun that it uh it happened this way and, yeah. and then nice because you have so many metal heads and um so yeah um that's, that's yeah. uh that yeah what can i say um how do I keep the story not boring? Let me let me think. Okay, so I went to school. Yeah, it's very boring, I know. But the cool thing is, <laughs> the cool thing is, uh, there were actually a lot of uh, teachers that were also in, in really good bands. You know, so wow. for example, there are teachers from With Temptation. Wow, uh, wow, that's, that's pretty cool, right? So yeah. at least they, yeah, they did a good job with their bands. You know, so you're can be pretty sure that they can yeah. actually teach you <laughs> what you need to know. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's cool. So, so yeah, aborted for people that like more extreme music, aborted, for example. So yeah. anyway, cool, cool bands from the Dutch scene. Uh, yes, but as, as I know, you are a vocal coach as well. Yeah, yeah, I like, I love to help people with, uh, with their vocals. It's that's fun, you know, uh, yeah. 
to make them happy with their own vocals. Sometimes I've had people and they say, I don't really like what I'm singing. And then I, yeah, I want to no. make them like I their think own it's voice. Important that, that now you, that, that you help people with their, their own skill. Maybe, you know, there are some, some women or male that or kids, they, they are, you know, uncertain because they, they think they think I'm not good enough. And maybe you yeah. can you can help them to just find out that they can do it. They can do it. Yeah, like exactly. You. Yeah, exactly. Also, and, and sometimes there are coach. people that yes, yeah, coach, and sometimes yes. there are people that uh, that actually know something already, but yeah. they want to get better at some stuff. You know, I got all kinds of levels. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I am, I'm always happy if if you know if I can help someone with yeah. whatever they want to learn. So yeah, that's. What yeah, I do mainly for, yeah, I do it mainly for a living now, yeah. Yes, musical influences of uh, Burning Witches. Yeah, so the influences, um, they're, you know, they're pretty broad, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, yeah, I think the obvious ones also are, for example, Judas Priest. Judas Priest, uh, the choices. Yeah. <laughs> First <laughs> time that I, I don't hear that metal band, the black metal band that influences. Okay, keep on going, Judas Priest, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Judas Priest, um, yeah, for me a little bit, maybe maybe not so obvious, right? But mm -hmm. but for me personally, Wasp a little bit. Uh, oh, look, uh, I love it. I love them. Yeah, uh, you... <laughs> I love I love it. And uh, I, I saw them at Summer Breeze. I was making a photo shooting and I, I, I didn't have the VIP, VIP um, you know, for the bigger stage. So I couldn't yeah. make, they, they were at the lining. I just mm -hmm. had the f f for the first band. I just go inside the the, um, the fences, and uh, there mm -hmm. was someone on the security. And I said, "I came from Sicily. Can I go to make picture to Wasp?" He said, he said "Just yeah. go, go to." And I was like in front of him of Lawless, and I was like, "Oh my God, I'm dreaming!" I, yeah, amazing. Yeah, nice. I like your taste. Finally, another woman that that likes to have my that taste. Likes it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Wasp. Yeah, cool. I wanna hear. I wanna hear other influences. Yeah, so what else? Um, creator, actually Lala especially loves Lala. all the trash metal. And you can, I think you can hear it in the trash beats she's using. Yeah, 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 yes, sure. Yeah, there, there comes the, all the energy from, right. And what, uh, okay, yeah, Man you heard Manowar already. What else do we have? Uh, uh, yeah, of course, Iron Maiden, you know. Iron Maiden, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, it, it, you know, influences come from a lot of places, but I guess I got the biggest ones now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And personally for you, uh, if we have, for example, this is a little more bit, a lot of, we can say tough, for, because m most of the musicians, when I ask this question, they say, okay, let me think. You have to choose yeah. just five okay. albums or five artists, five whatever. Uh, that yeah. you like, that uh, since you were a child, so a teenager till today, that formed you. Just pick pick five that come straight to your mind. All right, well, let's start with most. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dying for the World. It was one okay. of their more later and darker albums mm -hmm. that I, I really like the, you know, the melancholy, but also the, yes. the dark energy of it. Yeah. Um, I think I have to say Mother Earth from Wither Temptation because it's like one of the first metal bands I listened to. Wow. And uh, yeah, so that's why I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Oh, what's it called? It's the it's the album. It's stupid that I don't know this. I it, I don't know how the album is called, but it's the album from Judas Priest where Painkiller is on. Painkiller. Okay. Is the, the album name, called Painkiller too? Or wait, wait, wait. My, there is my husband. Um, uh, Judas Priest uh, Painkiller album, the name. It's, it's called Painkiller. My other one said yeah, it's okay. Painkiller. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All right, yeah, that one. He knows more so than those me. are three down. Okay, then we have, and I, I like this album so much because it's so special if you compare it to most yeah. other metal albums. And uh, But I'm talking about the next one now. It's, uh, but also Painkiller, by the way, the, the yeah, the sound, design or how do you want to call it like the, yeah. the production is just on point you know and yeah. the drums i i heard it was a special drummer that did the drums for painkiller yeah. and uh yeah anyway I, I i love it yeah everything okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so next uh that is also very special but in its own way is yeah. i think it's called van from eluviti eluviti yeah eluviti yeah 
El, how do you how do you pronounce it? Is, I, I don't know. They, they have a particular name. To, I don't know even to. I don't know either. Anyway, yeah. I I love their one of their first first albums they had. I think it's maybe even the first fan and uh, it yeah, has but, only like six songs or something. But it's so cool. It's like a, a movie yeah. if you listen to it. Yeah. So there's a druid it's talking also, in the it's, rain. It's and, also cool that you listen this kind of music because um, this type of music you can say folk, Viking, Celtic. They also mm -hmm. help you uh, with more with vocal skills because to improve your mm. vocal skills. And this shows that you you are totally versatile and not just heavy metal. Heavy, you are up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Up, yeah, yeah, they combine it more already. Yeah, right? yeah. Yes. But to be honest, I I only could listen to it because they combined it. If it would have been yeah. only screams, okay, when I was younger, I couldn't listen to it. Now okay. I can kind of. Um, I, I could listen, okay, these are exceptions, but I could listen to, for example, Children of Bottom and uh -huh. uh, Cradle of Filth because they also had lots of melodic aspects melodic, in the music. Melodic, yeah, melodic yeah, voices. So, so that's, that's why for me, but okay. Let me think. Oh, there were four albums already, right? So yes, one just left? one. One left, yeah. There's just one left. Ooh. When I was a teenager. Oh, um... Yeah. Um, I have a hard time now choosing between Iron Maiden and Nightwish. <laughs> you can say both, uh, like uh, one, two, Lash, another. Yeah, but maybe, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is really difficult. Oh, and also another one, shit. There's, okay, you know what? Everyone knows Iron Maiden and Nightwish. Okay. So I'm going to go for an album that probably no one really <laughs> no. heard about. Yeah, I kind of, I, I'm always surprised that no one knows about it because it's like one of my favorites actually. Uh -huh. And it's a metal opera. Metal opera? It's produced by, uh, uh, how is he called? It's um, it's a producer from Germany, Sasha Pace. Sasha Pace. It's just slightly, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. P-A-E-T-H. Me neither, but I don't speak German. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, so he did like stuff for Aventasia, Edguy, Anga, blah, blah, blah. And, and he has worked together with lots of artists to oh. make this uh, metal opera, Aina. And it's one of my favorites because, um, yeah, it's a bit of a. Um, maybe the reason why it's not super well known is, is because, yeah, if you ask me, it's a little bit in between power metal and. and really classic metal like metal. somewhere in between and maybe it's a weird niche or something so maybe yeah, that's why not a lot of people know yeah. it but oh man i love it so <laughs> that's amazing and now it's just like and of of course is this is like a common question that i make to that i asked you all the female the musician that i interview uh, yeah. you, of course is a how is being a woman in a nowadays metal yeah. scene because of course every era is different in, yeah. uh, in in the in, in 2020, how is being a woman in the in the metal scene? Yeah, uh, at least I get a lot of free drinks. So, <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. And uh, um, yeah, how how is it? Um, yeah, it's it's. I mean, um, I I don't I don't really have a reference, right? So I yeah. don't really feel like it's any different than yeah. any other scene. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Because sometimes, you know, women feel like a little bit frustrated compared to, you know, maybe ma male, male vocalist or male guitarist or uh, in, in general, ma male mm. in metal scene. But as, as uh, you're saying this is a good thing because yeah, you feel a I, part I mean, of okay. that. Yeah, but, but that's, that's a total different uh, thing that you're talking about because I did notice that it's sometimes it can be difficult to find a band you like because there mm -hmm. are simply more bands that want male singers. Yeah. Uh, because if you want, I mean, at least in, in the Netherlands, if you want to be singing as a female, there's a lot of the gothic stuff. Ah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. uh, op, op, a little bit, you know, close to operatic and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I actually listened to, to this kind of music too, but I just, I, my voice was not really fit for it, right? So your voice is more, it's more, it's more powerful and uh, I, I don't know how to explain it there there is this uh, I don't know if you know her she's a uh, maybe one of the best female singer in the world for me she's called yeah. Leather Leone she's a uh, uh, I heard from it yeah I heard yeah. from it so uh, she's a ex former <laughs> ex former of a band called Chastain 
uh, uh. now she has a Roman man. She's 62 years old, so she came from the uh -huh. 80s. And if you if you saw her, she wore just a, a, a shirt, a jeans. That's it, because her <laughs> voice is uh, incredible. Just Google Google their listener, because maybe we. I, I was planning a tour with her, but I don't know for in 21 or 22. Maybe we will contact you because uh, since uh, you are. Heavy metal, she plays heavy metal because she takes lessons from Ronnie James Dio. So she's uh, like, uh, I mean, you, you both will fit together. And also she knows Ross the Boss, Michael the Pond. So yeah, yeah, it will cool. be like a huge family playing all together and it will be fun. I think she will yeah. be really happy of this. And speaking about female um, icon, which are because I really of course we are women we like sometimes yeah, we like uh, we care about the, the dressing and I, mm -hmm. I i saw your live and i love how you i mean the way you dress your your outfit yeah. during the there is some icons in the in in the rocks in that uh, in we can say influence you well I, I say that there is some rock icons or metal icons, female icons that influence your way of your your your, ah. your style. Yeah, um, good question. I think uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I was in a symphonic metal band before mm -hmm. this, and then I got inspired a little bit by um, yeah, by Wind Temptation mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, Amaranti, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so then, actually, I was. But if I have to look at now, then not specifically. Because, yeah, yeah the, I mean, the 80s was mostly guys. And there were there wasn't, like, a, a super specific different outfit for girls yeah. or something. I mean, there, yeah. there was just a little bit. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, glam artists, for example, the glam, uh, glam guys, we're yeah. kind of borrowing stuff from females, you know, so there's not really a specific female that I'm now, you know, yeah. there's not a specific influence there for me. But yeah, I think, yeah. yeah, that's that's kind of the reason. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to create your own style and your own, I mean, your own personality. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah it's just um, not even that, you know, it's just I'm like, ah, oh, let's do... Uh, Let's do studs because I like them. And then at some point, actually, someone told me because I always have these the bras with studs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you're like uh, you're like wasp. I was like, oh, you could be right because I listened and I looked, of course, to the clothes they're wearing. It was yeah. super crazy, of course, what they did. <laughs> yeah, of course. But and I think yeah, because you, you follow your racing. Yeah, you follow you follow kind of unconsciously what you already know. Yeah. That's that's in it exactly. So I guess. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's not really any any specific female, but yeah. if I have to choose one, okay, if I have to choose one, it's Doro in this case, you know, because <laughs> yeah. she is the heavy metal icon for yeah. females in this, I think, in this case. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah, and I yeah. just... Uh, and, and to be honest, sometimes I see pictures of me with, like, I have to sometimes a, a little bit of the same hairstyle, uh, when it's a bit longer than this, though, then, uh, and then I'm like, ooh, I look like Doro there, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, I, I, I um, suggest you a woman, a, a band, the, she's a, 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 a singer as well. The, the band is called Femme Fatale. Yeah. She's the singer, just look how she's, she's dressed. I, we are speaking about style. This is this, this part of the of the interview is for women. Just just look how, how she dressed. She, she wore just like the tiny dresses with the leather jacket, um, mm. boots. She just really, I love her style and uh, for me, she was like, um, uh, we can say, an inspiration. You know, when you go to a gigs and say, what I should wear? I just check Google. Yeah, okay, I nice. Googled yeah. uh, Femme Fatale and I look at um, how she dresses. It. Just check a look. Uh, I think that you will like her. You, you will like her. Now, so, yeah. before, before ending the interview, I want to know, of course, the future project of uh, Burning Witches. What future project. What's on oh, what's it's, boiling right now? Oh, it's it's really cool. It's almost finished. It will be bigger than life. It will be super heavy, <laughs> super in your face metal. Yeah, I can't really say a lot yet. <laughs> you're, you're what else can some, I say? You're planning. I mean, you're planning some apart this COVID. You're planning some gigs. Uh, you're engaging some yeah. festivals. Yeah, we were, uh, 
Yeah, sorry again for the lenses. Uh, Don't worry. It's really annoying. I have I a light in my uh, eyes that I'm becoming blind as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty bright, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, we have a really cool tour that we hope to do. Oh, okay. uh, that's not really sure, of course, with Corona how things go, but okay. at least we have we have a really cool thing going on, and uh, hopefully that that will happen. So, uh, yeah. Um, if it all happens, there are around 40 gigs. For yeah. one tour, so yeah, that's well, decent. <laughs> my, uh, that's cool. We often not just fly it uh, over eighteen hours. Yeah, hopefully it will be a little bit less uh, problematic. But yes, <laughs> <laughs> and the, the good thing with the, with a tour, you know, you normally with a, a nightliner a lot, so then you just yeah. sleep while traveling. Nothing can really go wrong, you know. Yeah, so sometimes yeah. okay, things can go wrong, but. Yeah, it's it's easier. <laughs> yes, of course. And just a message to um, Burning Witches fans and uh, all the women, especially in the world of music, and the teenagers, especially because I uh, think they like it that teenagers, for example, you and me, we were younger, we were looking at different icon uh, that maybe were also in pop music, for example, and now uh, that new teenager are just looking, for example, you. Just a message to to them to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, uh, yeah, <laughs> what, what can I say then? Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, the best advice, I guess, in the end, is to always be yourself, right? <laughs> always, you're right, Laura, yeah. you're right. You're right, so thank you so much for being with, with, with me, with us, and uh, I really hope to see you and really get in touch, stay in touch for playing some gigs together with the leather, with the leather Leone and speak about uh, Wasp all, all night long. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be amazing yeah, speaking with someone that loves glam and hard rock and heavy metal finally and not extreme metal. It was really a pleasure yeah. and thank you so much <laughs> so for your cool. time and I wish you all the best for the band because uh, uh, the, the world needs a female band, more female bands, I think, and especially heavy metal bands. So thank you so yeah. much, to Lara. And thank you too. Uh, keep always being metal and be always yourself, as you say. Yeah. Thank All you right. so much. <laughs> thank you so much.